as within, so without. Now here's the magic recipe, guys. Before you go to bed, before you go to bed every single night, if you tried all sorts of diets like the keto diet, the vegan diet, the celebrity diet, even the yo-yo diet, but you're still struggling to lose weight, then this video is for you. And don't skip any parts of this video because I want to share with you some really useful tips that help me lose weight and keep it off permanently. So make sure you watch till the end of this video. Hi guys, it's Fee here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and make heaps of fun and useful videos on health beauty, wellness and lifestyle video. Be sure to like this video, drop a comment and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on my future content. So without any further ado, let's jump straight on to this video guys. So I want to share with you guys five easy steps that you can follow to keep your weight loss off forever, permanently. So step number one is goal setting. You guys want to set your goal, you want to set your desire. What exact weight do you guys want to be at? Now in this stage, you want to be honest with yourself and you want to be true to yourself. At what weight do you want to be to feel comfortable and to feel amazing? Make sure you do this for yourself, guys. It's really important. Don't lose weight or don't change yourself for someone else just to make them feel better or for you to be appreciated or accepted into your friend group. That is not right, guys. You need to love yourself and choose a weight that you want to be at for you. There's three ways that I find really effective in goal setting so the first step is journaling basically just write down in your diary at what weight do you want to be what is your goal weight that you want to be at the second option that you can do is create an inspiration board like a poster that you literally stick on the wall so when you walk into the area just put it somewhere visible that when you walk there you can see your goal like put on some beautiful picture of the body that you want to be at the number as well of the weight that you want to be at last option that I I really love which I do for myself is actually your phone lock screen I mean you guys carry your phone everywhere you wake up in the morning your alarms on your phone you flick it off you check your phone 10,000 million times a day why not use it to your advantage so what I like to do for myself personally is I like to make myself a collage on my phone on Canva and I write all the goals that I want to achieve and include your dream body as well and your dream weight too so the second step that you want to do after you set your goals is actually to practice self-love and gratitude. Now the first step, the most crucial step for you to lose weight and keep it off is actually learning to love yourself and accepting yourself just the way you are. Now I know that this seems quite to the contrary but you guys trust me you have to love yourself if you want to lose weight. I know you might not be happy with your body right now, you might have excess fat or you might be a little bit chubby here and there but you have to love yourself if you want to lose the weight permanently and just accept the way your body is. Now there is a saying, the more you resist, persist. So what that basically means is if you hate yourself, you don't like the way you look right now. That stubborn fat is going to be glued to you for a long time, girl. It's also going to be much harder for you to lose that weight off. If you're forcing yourself, pushing yourself, trying to over-exercise and punishing yourself by restricting your food and dietary intake, it's going to be harder for you to lose weight and for your body to release fat. Your body is just going to literally hold all the fat that it has because it thinks that it's under pressure, it's under stress and it doesn't know when it's going to be fed next or nurtured. The next thing you want to do is say loving and encouraging affirmations to yourself. Now you want to do this every time you see your beautiful self walking past the mirror, anywhere you go, when you just see a mirror, stop for a little second and say encouraging words to yourself like I love you, you are enough, I am beautiful. I also like doing this in the morning as well when I brush my teeth and I look at myself in the mirror. Try to start filtering yourself words of affirmation, love, and encouragement and acceptance. Now, here's the secret, guys. This is what I like to do, and it literally just takes me two minutes every single morning. So, when I brush my teeth in the mirror, I say words of affirmation, love, and acceptance to myself. That way, it sets you in a positive mood for the day, and it just brings more positivity throughout your day. It's also important for you guys to set your morning in a really high mood to set your entire day really well. If you guys want to see, See more on that content I actually made um, in my morning routine video. I'll put that down in the description box below for you guys to have a look at. Now here's the magic recipe before guys. Before you go to bed, before you go to bed every single night, you want to be going to bed in a really positive state of mind. That way the next day when you wake up in the morning, you wake up on a positive end. This is literally what I was doing. I was embodying this, what I'm teaching you. I've been embodying this every single time. The way how I lost weight and kept it off is because I love myself. 
I love myself the way I am and you just gotta accept me the way I am. But what you wanna do is that you wanna talk yourself to sleep. Like talk to yourself as if you're talking to your best friend. How would you treat your best friend? It should be the same way that you're gonna treat yourself. So the way how I did this guys is that before I went to bed, try to feel every part of your body, even the fat parts that you don't like or you really hate at the moment, Try to love yourself. So love every part of your body. What I did was I just touched every part of my body from my arms, my stomach area, my butt area, my thighs, my legs. So touch every part of your body in a soft and loving and gentle way. I love you. I am enough. I am worthy. I am worthy and deserving of everything that I desire in this life. You could also say things like, every cell in my body is healthy and happy. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. Every day I wake up, I am getting more and more beautiful. I have a slim and slender frame. On the other side, if you like a more athletic frame, you could always say to yourself, I have a fit and healthy body. There is also another saying that you guys probably haven't heard about, but it goes like this, as within, so without. So what that means, what goes into your body actually goes out into the physical world and what you see in the mirror. So if you feed yourself with words of love, affirmation, encouragement, and acceptance, your body is going to change and mold itself in the way that you want it to be. But inside, if you hate yourself, you don't accept yourself, you see yourself as ugly, a fat pig or so, then outside your body is just gonna look like that. Now step three is actually don't diet. I know you guys are probably expecting me not to say that, but it's quite to the contrary. Don't diet, but cut down your portion. So what I find guys, cause I mentioned that I tried a ton, a ton of gazillion diets and they don't work for me, is that when you diet, you're basically deplenishing your body of essential nutrients that your body needs. But so when you do that, your body actually holds on to fat as this storage mechanism because it doesn't know when it's gonna get that source of nutrient next. So what I do is say that you're eating an excessive amount of portion and you wanna lose weight, try to cut it down to say 60 or 70% full, but if it's too much for you to cut down at the moment, slowly bring it down. So say if you are eating up to 100% full, what you wanna do is try to cut it down week by week to 90% full, and then maybe next week you can drop it down to 80% full. But what I find that is most effective in losing weight is when you try to cut it down to 70% full, that way you're not eating as a huge portion, you're still satisfied to some degree, and there's room for your body to lose weight. Step number four is cut out unnecessary snacks and start exercise. So what I did in this stage, say I like to snack a lot in the afternoons or so, I would replace my unhealthy snacks with say fruits and nuts instead. In this stage, you try to replace your unhealthy snacks with more raw and whole fruits and vegetables. And then the next stage that I would do is try to avoid processed and junk foods unless on weekends or on cheat days. And what I mean by cheat days is not the whole day that's cheap. It's literally only one or two snack foods that's called cheat days. So what I mean by this is say on the weekend, on Friday and Saturday nights, those are usually my cheat days. After dinner, I would like to treat myself, for example, an ice cream, a bar of chocolate, like only one or two squares, and that's it, guys. No more, you need to learn to have portion control. What it really taught me is the 80-20% principle, which is 80% healthy and 20% indulgent. What I wanna do to have a healthy relationship with food is actually to slow down and savor each bite. Enjoy Enjoy it like it's the first thing that you've ever tasted of that food. Now the last and final step that you want to incorporate in your permanent weight loss, this is what I'm so excited about, is actually to incorporate some teas. You're probably wondering why you need to incorporate some teas, but trust me, teas actually speed up your metabolism. That means it burns your fat faster and you lose weight. I actually had a video on this, I'll put the description down below on how I drank matcha to lose weight without exercise. This is the matcha that I use guys this is an organic green tea matcha powder from Tropica but if you guys are new to tea I don't recommend jumping straight away to matcha because it is quite strong and more effect so what I suggest is starting off with green tea first green tea is much more mild than matcha but then when you're used to it and your body adjusts to it you need to step it up to matcha what you want to do is have green tea two times a day after lunch and after dinner do that for one month 
and then slowly introduce matcha. I don't want to waste time for you guys because I did have a whole video dedicated to matcha for you guys but briefly speaking, matcha green tea powder has 10 times the antioxidants found in green tea so that helps speed up your metabolism and L-theanine in green tea. If there's any other content you guys want me to talk about feel free to drop it in the comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you're new to my channel. So that is the end of this video. It was lovely to chat with you guys. See you next time.